Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel for another video. And this one it is the 2022-2023 Newport County released and retained list. Going through the players that have either been released by the club or, you know, offered new contracts. And then the ones that have been kept by the club. Um, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please make sure to smash it like, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below. Players that we've let go, players that we've kept at the club. Um, because I'll be interested to know if you guys are happy with players that have left or not happy with players that have left because there's a few in here that I'm looking at and I'm thinking, you know, I'm not really happy about that. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. This is the horrible thing um, at the end of a season, is, especially in League 2, is the retained and released list, wondering who's going to leave, who's going to stay. So definitely uh, something to look into. So I'm going to get straight into this. Please make sure, like I said, to smash it a like, comment and subscribe. And let's have a look who Newport County have kept on for next season and who we have left. So we'll start with leaving the club then. First of all, we'll go at the lone players returning to parent clubs. Obviously, Finn Azaz returning to Aston Villa. Ollie Cooper going back to Swansea. Jake Kane going back to Liverpool. Rob Street um, going back to Crystal Palace. Josh Pask going back to Coventry. And Timmy Abraham going back to Fulham. Now, obviously... Finn Azaz has been absolutely unreal this season. Um, I knew he was a lone player. They say don't fall in love or you know don't get connected with a lone player because they're going to leave. And that's happened to me with Finn Azaz and Oli Cooper, to be fair. Um, both of them have been absolutely phenomenal for us. If you know Aston Villa fans or Swansea fans are watching this, you've got a player on your hands in the future. But I would love them to, to come back, maybe just for one season, um, to try and get us into League One. That'll be... Um, that would be massive if they can do that, but I don't see it. Uh, Jake Kane was on the periphery of the first team, didn't start many games. He started getting implemented into the team after you know we had injuries in midfield. So not too annoyed that he's gone back. Rob Street didn't really offer much, so you know I'm not going to say much about that. Josh Pask, the same. Um, he looked good at times, but inconsistency. And Timmy Abraham never really played, so um, I'm surprised... They didn't recall him in January and send him somewhere else, to be fair, because Timmy Abraham just never got a game, um, to be truthfully honest. Um, then we're looking at scholars leaving the club. Charlie Bullock, Yestin Evans, Dixon Kabongo, uh, Aniron Livermore, uh, Zach Mayer, Ethan Morgan, Kian, or Kian Pritchard, Callum, Ryan Phillips. Now, obviously, these are the scholars. You know, don't know much about the scholars, but one thing I will say is Aniron Livermore leaving is absolutely massive. Um, you know, he's got a massive potential on Iron Livermore. I'm hearing he's linked to QPR. Um, look, whoever gets an Iron Livermore, they've got a player on their hands. I think if it's a championship team or, you know, even a Premier League team, he'll go straight into the, the sort of development squad. Um, however, if it is um, based off uh, or if it is to a, a League One, League Two team, I think he will be in their first team, to be truthfully honest. I really do. Um, let's have a look at the players leaving the club. Um, you know, the senior players that have left. Right, this is the one then I am going to be a bit gutted about. So players leaving the club um, are Ryan Haynes, Alex Fisher, Courtney Senior, Podrigamond, Lewis Hall and Ryan Hillier. So first of all, we'll go from the bottom up because I think the, there's a few that are really contentious. Ryan Hillier never really got a game, got, got a game in the, the Cups, to be honest. He, you know, wasn't really preferred. I think Jordan Greenwich and Karen Ellison played in one of the cup games, so it tells you everything that you need to know about Ryan Hillier. Lewis Hall, again, never played. Um, Podrigamond, absolutely gutted about this. Not gutted that he's gone, because I think he's sort of not the, got the ability anymore to consistently be playing 90 minutes in League 2. But I'm annoyed at the way they sort of ended his con, uh, you know, left, made him leave the club, basically. They rang him up on a phone call. They should have sat down with him and said, Look, Podrig, you've been an excellent servant for the club, etc., etc., but they didn't do that, so I'm a bit disappointed about that. Um, Courtney Senior never gave him a chance, got injured for you know the full season. when he, at The moment he signed for us, he got injured for seven months. We didn't even give him a chance. Look, I said, give him a chance. I said, wait for him to come back from injury, see what he's like um, in pre-season, and then decide from there, but they just got rid of him. Alex Fisher, understandably, wasn't good enough, just wasn't good enough in my opinion um, and Ryan Haynes look I could basically tell Ryan Haynes was leaving the last three four games of the season he's not been playing so maybe that's a conversation him and James Rabbery had that you know we're, we're not going to be um, 
and we're not going to be sort of pushing you on basically if that makes sense and and I was like well you know that's that's a bit of a bummer to be honest with me but to be honest with you but it is what it is and um no, he's an excellent player Ryan Haynes very good down that left hand side um he's got a hell of a cross on him as well so whoever does get him in the summer because a lot of these will leave um I will do videos on them because technically they they I know they're a free agent now but technically they come from us so I will um obviously do a video on that to be truthfully honest um but yeah I am gutted let's have a look at the players that are staying at so first of all then we'll go to the players that have had contracts offered um uh, extensions exercised or, or anything like that so first of all um club remains in dialogue with Kevin Ellison um so Kevin Ellison is or likely to um, become some part of a coaching slash development role. I like this big Kev. You know he's got the the camaraderie to to be a, a coach and and he's got the the experience to be that. So totally fine with that. Totally fine. Uh, professional contracts offered to academy players, which will form part of the development squad. Evan Overdale, Harrison Bright, Jack Caradogan. Um, again, Harrison Bright when he came on against Rochdale was, but I don't want to say it because it's going to be sounding like a pun, but he was very good. Um, there we are, he was bright, there we are. He, he actually was one of the bright players um, in that game, and that's no pun intended. Um, so look, it's just good to, to get these on um, a professional contract, and then if they do leave, at least we you know got them on uh, a professional contract, so you know we would have to get money for them. Um, and then these are the next three. Uh, so Joe Woodwiss has had his contract um, extension sort of um, activated, if you like, um, he will be part of the development squad. And then this is the big one. Contracts offered to Dom Telford and Courtney Baker-Richardson. Dom Telford and CBR have both been offered a new contract at Rodney Gray. Look, if Dom Telford leaves, I can understand. If Baker-Richardson leaves, I'll be a bit shocked. Because I think Dom Telford could play at championship level. He really could. He's that good. Where I think Courtney Baker Richardson, this is probably his level at the moment, unless he develops, of course. Um, look, if we keep Don Telford, I'm still positive for next season. If we lose him, I'll be, you know, a bit worried. But if we lose him and Courtney Baker Richardson, we've already losing Aaron, uh, Alex Fisher, uh, not Alex Fisher, Ryan Haynes. We've already lost Courtney Senior. So, you know, there's a, a few big players that could be leaving. Hopefully, Don Telford and Courtney Baker-Richardson sign on the dotted line. If it's out of one of them, of course, I want it to be Don who signs the contract. But to be honest, I hope Courtney does as well because, you know, that link up between them two could be pivotal next season. Let's have a look at the players that are staying at Rodney Prey. So the players that have been retained by Newport County, Joe Day, Nick Townsend, Cameron Norman, James Clark. Priestley Farcarson, Matty Dolan, Robbie Wilmot, Aaron Lewis, Scott Bennett, Lewis Collins, James Waite, Mickey Dimitro, and Lewis Twamley for the development squad. So, um, Joe Day had to. Joe Day and Nick Townsend, basically the same reason. Got to keep your goalkeepers. They're un under contract still. Keep your goalkeepers there and um, sort of just keep that stability between your number one and number two. They could both play number one and number two. I'm just glad that we've got two keepers. Um, signed on for next season so we don't have to worry about that department in terms of signings Cameron Norman unbelievable addition to or, you know to keep him on at the club he was linked to St Mirren um, but the club have kept him at Newport which is excellent James Clark and Priestley Farcarson um, look I'm not saying they're the best of centre-backs but you know it's numbers it's bodies we don't have to make as many signings now in the centre-back area um, you know for Brick by keeping these at the club Robbie Wilmot uh, Matty Dolan, again, same thing. I think Matty Dolan may start in our first 11 uh, on the first game of the season next year, but I think he may start to get integrated out of the team if we get someone else in, or maybe, you know, James Waite is, is the, the heir to the throne in, in the midfield if Matty Dolan plays as a midfield next season. Uh, and Robbie Wilmot, yeah, the same thing. Squad play, recently signed a new contract, so, of course. Uh, Aaron Lewis, great that we've signed him on. Excellent, like Ryan Haynes, bit gutted that Haynes has left, but um, I'm glad that we've kept Lewis. If it was out of Lewis or Haynes, I'd want to keep Lewis anyway. Um, I wouldn't want to let Haynes go, but if it was out of the two, I would definitely want to keep Aaron Lewis, so definitely happy with that. Scott Bennett, um, again, squad player, but could be you know very important for us next season. Glad that we've kept him on. Lewis Collins, I was very worried, seeing a lot of people think that we may actually get rid of Lewis Collins. I'm just so glad he stayed, because... 
he could be very, very successful at this football club. And he, you know, could be a... Maybe we've got to look to play some youth players and maybe Lewis Collins could be uh, one of them next season. James Waite, excellent footballer. Didn't get as much game time as probably wanted with Azaz, Cooper um, and even Jake Kane to an extent playing um, regular football. Maybe next season is his sort of breakthrough season at Newport because he showed signs that he could be excellent last year. Um, Mickey Dimitro, captain, fantastic for me. Um Absolutely consistent, never puts in a foot wrong. Mickey Dimitrio, absolutely excellent. So glad he stayed on. Uh, and then Lewis Twamley as part of the development squad. Happy with the players that have retained um, and obviously the ones we've offered contracts to. Couple in the, the, the players that are leaving the club. Ryan Haynes has won, Courtney Senior. Um, and, and to an extent, an Iron Livermore. Gutted that he's left. Um, to be honest, that you know, I think we should have kept him on, but that's what it is. That is the retained and, and there we are, guys. That is the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to drop us a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, actually, if you know if there's players that you disagree that have been let go or we should have offered contracts to other players. Um, be interesting to see what you guys think. Like I said, um, there's there's a few in there that I'm really gutted about. Like, I just don't want them, don't want them to sign for a League Two club and come back to Rodney Braid and show us exactly what they can do. Because um, there's a few players in there that definitely can do that, the likes of Senior and, and Ryan Haynes. Um, but that's what it is, guys. Please make sure to like, this, like the video, subscribe, and comment your thoughts down below. Turn post notifications on to never miss a video. Um, there will be a ranking Newport County players of 2021-2022 out tomorrow. So please make sure to tune in for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the county.